Well, obviously, we're here today to uh, to announce my attempt to come back to the National Hockey League. Uh, it's something that I'm very excited about uh, for myself and my family, for the organization, and of course for uh, the great great fans that we have here in Pittsburgh. Um, I just want to go over my reasons for wanting to come back after three and a half years of sitting behind the desk with these guys. Um, I think the most important one is, is I do miss the game tremendously. Um, having spent the last two years in the owner's box, having watched this team um, play for the last two years, uh, I think we have a great young team that has got a lot of potential at this time, and uh, it's something that I'd like to be a part of, part of it once, once again. So that played a major role, uh, obviously, in my decision. Um, I think that the game is going in the right direction. Um, I know I was very critical at times um, about the game, and that was certainly one of the reasons why uh, I left the game three years ago. But uh, I do have to um, thank Mr. Bettman, Andy Van Halman, and Colin Campbell for the great job that they have done turning around this, um, this sport. I think it is a lot more exciting now, not only for the players, but also for all the fans involved who are watching these games. I talked about the great young team that we have. That certainly played a major uh, part in my decision to come back to the game. I think most of you know that I play this game to win championships. And I truly feel that this team is very, very close um, to competing for the Stanley Cup. And that's why I'm back, to help these guys achieve our goal, which is every, every year we come to training camp is to win the Stanley Cup. And I feel that we're very, very close. I do believe that we need some experience down the stretch, and especially in the playoffs. I do believe we need the right mix of older players and young players, and I think that we have that here in Pittsburgh. We're one of the most talented team in the National Hockey League, and I think that we can be a great team for many, many years to come, and I'd like to be a part of it. Last, um, of course, is my family, my wife. Um, <clears throat> also my kids, um, especially Austin. Um, he's certainly been a, uh, a big part of my life since the day he was born. And uh, um, he's a young kid that uh, gets up early in the morning with his hockey stick in his hands and loves the game of hockey. And I'm sure he would love to see his dad play uh, before it's too late. So I feel that being 35 years old is not too late. I've been away from the game since I was 32, 31 years old, but I still feel that I have a lot of great hockey left in me. And uh, so my kids were certainly a big part of my, my decision to come back and play again. I think uh, my comebacks over the years have been well documented. Um, certainly the back surgery in 1990 uh, then was diagnosed with a back infection that affected my bones. Um, was in bed for three months, and after all that, I was able to come back at the end of the year. And if, if I remember, I played pretty well in the playoffs. We won that cup that year. So, the other one, of, of course, was the Hodgkins comeback. <coughs> Having spent six weeks of radiation, I was able to come back and win the scoring title that year. After missing 20 games, the year that I took off because of several reasons, basically my health, my back, and my stamina. And now, uh, this comeback after three and a half years of not playing the game, I feel will be the easiest one. Um, because I am healthy, because I've been resting for the last three and a half years, because I have a fresh start physically and mentally, and I think I showed a lot of progress over the last two weeks on the ice, um, and it's very, very encouraging. So I feel that I can come back and play at a very high level the way I used to in the past, 
I have no doubt in my mind that I can do that and um, try to regain the title of the best player in the world, maybe. And it's, uh, it's something that uh, I have the desire to do and the passion to do. I don't think you train for almost two months now without having the passion or the desire to come back and, and be the best you can be. So um, it's really in my mind to come back and, and to be a big part of this hockey club, a big part of this, the National Hockey League, and I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. As far as the day-to-day uh, -day operation with the franchise, I'm still going to remain as chairman and CEO, but not obviously be as active as I've been over the last two years. We have some great people in the organization. Tom Rooney, Ken Sawyer, and Craig Patrick have done a great job for us on and off the ice, and they're really the ones who are going to run this franchise from now on. Uh, I'm still going to be around at times to make important decisions, but I want to go back to be a player the way I was a few years ago, and that's going to take, take up 99% of my time. And... Uh, I'm just really excited to have the opportunity again to, to come back and play, and uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to the challenge. Mario, when will you come back? Do you, have you figured out what game you might uh, hit the ice for the first time? Uh, not really. Obviously, the sooner the better. Uh, I'd, love, I'd love to come back, but uh, you know, if it's late December, it's late December. If it's early January, fine. If not, uh, it's going to be sometime in January. But uh, I do want to emphasize that when I come back, I'll be ready to play at a very high level. And that's why I've been training for the last two months. Um, I have a great trainer in, in Jay Caulfield. He's been, uh, he's been pretty tough on me uh, for a couple of weeks. And, uh, of, course, of course, Tom Plasco. Uh, but uh, I do intend that uh, when I come back, uh, I'll be ready to go. Mary, do you remember the moment in time when you decided this is what you wanted to do? The moment in time? Was it a night where you were watching television with Natalie? Not really. Uh, I think it was more a progression of watching the games. Um, from upstairs and, of course, on television. And, uh, um, you know, just gradually um, started to think about it. And uh, really, November 1st, I uh, started working out on my own. Uh, twice a day, I was riding the bike and lifting weights and, and started to feel pretty good uh, a few weeks after that. And then I called Jay uh, in late November uh, to ask him to... Uh, Helped me get back in shape and get back on the ice, and um, uh, Jay has been there for me since since that time. And it's uh, uh, I think we've made a lot a lot of progress in a short period of time, and uh, um, I feel uh, very good about uh, my chances. Mario, when you retired in '97, you said you could no longer accept the level you were playing at; that it wasn't the level you were accustomed to playing at. Are you now ready to reconcile that you can accept? whatever level you're able to play at? Well, I think back then I was really beat up mentally and physically because of everything that I had to go through with my back and, of course, uh, uh, the Hodgkin's uh, part of it. My stamina was not right. Uh, right now I feel different. I feel a lot stronger than I was three and a half years ago, uh, not only physically but mentally, and uh, I feel that uh, it might be a different story. Mario, how much uh, did missing big press conferences like this have to do with it? <laughs> That's a big, big part of it. Uh, I love doing this. <laughs> Getting used to it, though. Mario, you play it by year, or do you have any commitment as far as how long you want to continue to do this? No, I'm going to commit for this year, obviously. Uh, if I'm able to come back this year, I'm going to play the whole year and commit to that. Uh, obviously, I'd love to play longer. Uh, I'm just going to have to wait and see how the year goes, uh, how the team reacts, and then go from there. Mario, you have a huge vested financial interest in the team, uh, and a lot of people are saying that has to be one of the motives for a comeback. Is it, and if it is, so what? No, it's not, it's not a motive. Uh, I mean, like I said before, to train for, for two months and not have the passion to come back and not have the uh, desire to come back at your best I don't think anybody can do that just for the money. I don't know. Personally, I wouldn't do that. I don't know if anybody else would. But uh, I think you have to have a lot of desire, a lot of passion to come back and be your best. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not coming back to embarrass myself. That's the last thing that I would do. 
And uh, speaking of that, if the franchise, uh, a million or two is not going to make a big difference for this franchise. Uh, and a million or two is not going to change my lifestyle for me personally. So if people think I'm coming back for the money, they don't really know me. Are you at all concerned about uh, your relationship with the coach? I mean, after you, all, you are his boss, and you will be on the ice. Uh, he'll be dictating your shifts. <laughs> well, that's part of being a player, I guess. Uh, that's what I said. I'm going back to be a player, and I have a great relationship with uh, with Ivan. Uh, uh, after every game, I go down and talk to him, talk to the coaching staff, and talk about the game. And, and uh, I anticipate a great relationship with uh, with the coaching staff and the players. Mario, will you wear number 66, and will you are we to assume that you'll wear the C as well? I'm not going to wear the C. I'm going to wear 66. I don't think it would be appropriate to take the C away from Yarmir. He's, he's our leader, uh, and he's been for the last couple of years. Uh, same thing with the assistant captains. Uh, they've been there from, from training camp. They deserve to be the assistant captains, and that's not going to change, uh, although I'm going to wear 66. Mario, have you talked to uh, Yarmir specifically about your comeback and in light of, uh, of the fact that he's ascended to the top status in the game and, as you put it, the leader of the team? I'm sorry. Have you spoken to Yarmir about this uh, in particular? Yeah, I did talk to him a couple of weeks ago um, um, to announce him that uh, I was thinking about coming back, and uh, he was very, obviously very excited. Um, and uh, I think he's been playing better since then. Um, I know he's gone through uh, uh, some emotional uh, for the last couple of weeks, but uh, I think he's he's turning around. And he's he's starting to play a lot better. He's starting to be the leader that he was uh, uh, in the past. Mario, how will you know when tape? you're ready to come back? You, right now, you don't know. What, I think it's something that you feel. Obviously, the more you train, uh, I think I'll feel it, feel it on the ice and uh, the way I'm skating, the way I'm handling the puck, uh, my stamina. And I know, I'll know when I get to that level that I'm ready to come back and, and practice with the team. You, is it inconceivable back, to you? How, what did you feel the first time you went out after you had made the decision? Did you get the feeling like I, I, this, this is coming back to me right away, or did you say, no. boy, I can't? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was pretty tough. I think the first week was uh, a little bit discouraging um, because I couldn't skate obviously the way I used to after being off for um, that long. But uh, I think we've showed a lot of progress over the last week to 10 days. Uh, my speed is, is pretty much back. Uh, my strength is uh, in my legs is almost to where it was before. And uh, just a matter of keep practicing and keep training and, and uh, anticipate uh, getting there very soon. Will you practice with the team? Uh, I'd love to come back probably next week, sometime next week. Uh, maybe Monday or Tuesday with the team. Are you, are, you the, are you concerned about how the younger guys are going to react, not just playing for their boss, but also... I'm not going to be a boss. I'm going to be a player just like all of them are, right, are going to be. How, how about a lot of guys have always been mesmerized by your ability and stopped playing on the ice. Are you concerned that some of these younger guys seeing you on the ice is going to... Cool. Maybe slow down a little bit to watch. I don't think so, and and that's something that I want to make sure that I'm going to address the team before I step on the ice with them. Uh, um, I'm coming back to be a player. I'm going to be their teammate. I'm not going to be an owner. I don't make trades. Greg Patrick, as you all know, has been making trades for the last two years since I took over, and I just want to get back and play the game that I know I can play, and help this team achieve our goal to win the Stanley Cup, and I can do that probably better as a player than as an owner. Is it inconceivable to you that you could go through this whole exercise and at the end of it say, uh, I don't feel I'm at the level I need to be? Or you just, you're as positive as can be that you will be able to go through it? I'm pretty the positive that uh, I'll be able to get there. Um, as I said, the progress that I've made so far in a short period of time is very encouraging. And uh, it's in my mind that I want to come back. I have the desire to come back and the passion to come back. and. I think it will happen. Do you remember the feel of what it was like when you were the most dominant player in the world? Do you oh, yeah. remember that feeling? You never lose that feeling, and uh, um, I think as a player, you try to uh, to regain that. If Are possible. there any issues with the Players Association or the league? This is a little tricky being the owner and the yep. player. Did you talk with? There's Gary a lot of issues ball? that we're going to have to uh, sort sort out with uh, with the league and with the Players Association. That's something that uh, we have time before I step on the ice and. Uh, I think that uh, uh, the league and, and the Players Association will be 
uh, talking very soon, and, and uh, whatever they say is, is, is spoken fine. With the league? Uh, spoken with the league. Will you be a member of the Players Association? Uh, I'm going to pay my dues. <laughs> Mario, it's hard to look too far. Dynamics on the ice with respect to other players, whether they take a shot at running. Won't be the first time. Right. Yeah. What, and also the referees and you know how they might view you. Have you thought about any of that? And, and what is your? That's opinion? something that I can't control, really. Uh, as far as the players. Uh, I'm sure there's there's going to be uh, uh, some nights where it's uh, it's going to be more difficult than others. Uh, but I've played 12 years in this league and I faced pretty much everything, and, and I'm I'm uh, I'm ready for that. As far as the uh, the referees, I can't control that. I'm just going on the ice, doing the best I can, and uh, I can control what they do or say. Mary, you mentioned your children. What was the reaction? When did you tell them, and what was their reaction? It was just a couple of days ago uh, after they came home from, from school. Uh, the news was out that Thursday, and uh, I just told them that uh, Daddy was coming back to play with Yager. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and my son was really excited. Mary, how did you keep those workouts a secret? You've been skating for a couple of months. How, how come we didn't know that? Uh, I've been skating since uh, November 28th. Uh, uh, I've been training on my own. Yes, I've been training on my own since uh, November 1st. So uh, um, I think the people at Neville Arena uh, have done a great job to keep it secret and uh, uh, to give me my privacy that I needed. And uh, I think it's just great. Mary, what's still look too far ahead, for but your uh, game that you that'll happen when it happens, then you know you're you're ready. What's still, you know, things your hands came back after a while. Uh, so no, I, my, my hands are there. Uh, I, mean, what else? I think I think it's my legs so much uh, the strength in, in your legs the acceleration uh, to be able to uh, change directions basically that's the whole game uh, to, to be strong enough to uh, to fight off players at times and uh, to have the acceleration to uh, to change the flow of the game uh, has really been my game throughout my career and I think I can regain that I've seen a lot of progress have you been surprised by the reaction from the entire hockey world or did you expect that everybody would be pretty uh, excited about it? Uh, I expected that uh, it would it would uh, have some news here and there. But, uh, <laughs> this kind of impact? <laughs> just, just this press conference? Not really. Um, I didn't know what to expect. Obviously, I did this because uh, I want to play again. And I think that we have a great young team uh, that can win the Stanley Cup right now. And we need a little bit more experience. And... Uh, those are my reasons. And are you you to you to or Gordy Howe about this? No. No, I haven't talked to him. Do you remember the first Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, uh, Guy, of course Guy, you do. Yeah, Guy was my idol, and uh, I was very excited when he came back and had a chance to play against him uh, in Montreal. And, and, of course, with the Rangers, uh, it was very, very exciting. And um, when he came back, he was still uh, a pretty good player. Mario, it's hard to look... It's hard to look too far in advance, but have you heard from your good friend Wayne Gretzky about joining the Canadian Olympic team for 2002? Uh, well, that's still too far ahead, obviously. Um, as I said before, I'm going to commit for this year. Uh, if I play next year, I would love to play in the Olympics, obviously. Uh, <laughs> I would love to play in the Olympics. <laughs> for Canada, obviously. I you know, I was born in Canada, and, and I played for Canada before in the Canada Cup. It was a great, great experience, and uh, I don't know if Craig's here. Sorry, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, do you have any idea who you're going to be playing with? Is, uh, is it safe to say you'll be skating on the line with Yager? Do you have any idea? Uh, I'd love to play with Yager. I think we played before, and uh, the chemistry is, is, is there. Uh, I think we think alike, and I think it would be a great line for our team. So you're only committing to this year? Is but, that... And anything beyond that is, is we'll have to see how it goes this year. At the end of the year. Mira, have you resolved how you, the salary will work, how you will be paid? Uh, obviously, the NHLPA will, will be interested in that. Have, have you determined? I will make the average salary of the league, which is $1.4 million prorated. So by the time I come back, it will be half of that. No deferred this time. <laughs> 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 just this year, uh, but is it in your mind that you're hoping that you 
that th this year will tell you that you do want to play more years, or is it you just don't want to come in in your own mind? Well, I have a pretty good idea how it's going to go, but I want to see it first. Do you continue to draw a salary as CEO? Uh, that's something that uh, is going to be addressed in our board meeting on the 20th, and uh, it's up to the board to, to vote on that. What do you suspect? I hope they did. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they vote the right one. Is there any way that things won't be resolved between the league and the PA and that you won't be able to come back because of rules, technicalities? I'd be very surprised. Mario, you not become owner. Do you think this would have happened? Was it the closeness to the game? Because you didn't come around a whole lot before you were the owner. Well, it was tough to come uh, to get close to the team. Obviously, I had some problems with the ownership before. Uh, with Roger Marino and, and the lawsuits and all that stuff, and that's why I stayed away that one one year. But uh, uh, I think you're right. I think being close uh, to the team uh, for the last two years and uh, watching every game from from the owner's box and watching every game on TV and making trips at the end of the year uh, and especially in the playoffs uh, really got my uh, my blood flowing again. And, and uh, um, you know, I just thought being 35 is not too late. Uh, I see some guys out there that are, you know, 40 years old and still playing very, very well. So I think there's still time for me to uh, to come back and uh, and play and play very well. Mary, were you surprised about his comeback? Have you made any comparisons there? Did you, you friends, you played golf with him before? Did, have you talked to him? No, I haven't talked to Michael yet. But uh, I mean, I know what it, what it feels like. I came back before from taking a year off, so. But uh, as I said before, I feel this comeback will be easier than the other ones because I am healthy, because I've been resting for three and a half years, and because I feel strong. Mario, were you surprised that you discovered or rediscovered the passion to come back to play at the level you've expressed today? And when you retired, uh, did you feel that was it? Did you ever envision a possibility of standing up here doing this today? I think it's always in the back of your mind. Obviously, uh, this is a game that I've been playing since I was three years old. and. Uh, you know, it's tough to one day just shut it down. So it was always in the back of my mind, certainly not the first year or two after I retired, but uh, the last couple of years, uh, uh, at times I was thinking about it a lot. Are you going to push your golf player back up again once you start contact drills? Uh, you know, the back is always going to be a problem for me. Obviously, uh, I haven't had two back surgery, uh, back mm -hmm. infection. Uh, it's... it's uh, uh, always a maintenance every day, but uh, you know, I feel very, very strong. I've been skating for uh, a few weeks, and there's no problems. Mario, we seem to have been invigorated by the, your role as a chief executive officer of a hockey club. Did that start to wane on you a little bit? Were you getting a little bored? No, not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's uh, you know, it's it's a tough job. There's there's a lot of uh, things you have to be. Uh, uh, Praised of and take care of and make decisions, but uh, no, I'm, I'm doing this because I want to play again, and I feel I can play again at a very high level, and that's uh, that's why I'm coming back. Mario, what's the level, level going to have to be for you to Pardon be me? satisfied? Oh yes, absolutely. Is there any conflict? Uh, Stanley Cup Finals. <laughs> How do you handle that? I'm going to be on the ice. I'm going to be on the ice. Mario, how high is your level going to have to be to satisfy you? I mean, do you concede perhaps that you may not be able to get back? to your peak level after these years off and, and being what age you are? I mean, I'm only 35, and I've been resting for three and a half years, so uh, I think I can get back to the level that I was at least when I retired and maybe better. Uh, you know, when I retired, I was very tired physically and mentally. My back was not very good. Now it's a different story, although I've been off for three and a half years. I think the key is to get yourself back in shape and playing shape. And once you get there, if you have the talent, I think you'll do well. Mary, you talk about the, uh, the passion and not the business end of things. But surely you must recognize or, or assume that there will be a benefit to the long-term health of this franchise and the possibility of a new arena if you come back, if you play well, if the team does well. Do you, do you see it? Oh, I mean, we're not going to lose money, obviously, because I'm coming back. It's going to benefit the franchise, I know that. But it's not why I'm coming back. As I said before... A million or two is not going to change what we do with the franchise next year. And personally, it's not going to change what I do with my family and my lifestyle. Do you think it helps, though, in terms of seeing the arena built here at some point? Do you think that I would hope so, yeah. I would hope so that it would help the franchise all around. 
not only on the business side, uh, on the ice, winning championships, and uh, can't hurt, obviously. One more. Have you thought about that perfect scenario for the first goal that you scored? <laughs> Breakaway, top shelf. <laughs>